So no more free evolutions, at least this time round. EA had a little streak for a second there. We were just getting free Evos every single time. But now we're back to the paid ones. But it's fullback swap. I'm looking at Simicass here. I'm positive I've got this card on my main account. But a left back... Yeah, a left-back evolution. Maybe, just maybe, Furla Mende is going to be eligible for this one. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. But I'm on the RTG. I don't have a lot of cards in this uh, this account. So let's see if we got anyone, though. A Rogue Tierney? You know what? Before we get into this, let's look at the boost real quick. I saw Jockey Plus getting added, which is uh, is nice. For a fullback but what's the actual boost to the stats here so plus four to defending plus four to physical nice plus three to the dribbling plus four to the passing plus five to the pace that is big can play multiple positions as well so maybe right backs that could play left backs are going to be eligible for this number of play styles max seven and one play style plus is pace 89 which is a bit, ugh, kind of ruins a lot of cards, just off the top of the mind there. But Max overall 87 has potential. I'm pretty certain Mendy has over 89 pace. However, there's only one place where we're going to get our answers, and that is foot.gg. However, by the looks of it, foot.gg has not loaded as of yet. So what we're going to do is head over to FootWiz instead. While I'm doing this, you know the drill, guys. Smash the like button down below. Show your boy some love. And Footwiz has our goods. Fullback swap. By the way, team of the season is so, so close now. Like, I'm pretty certain the live starts. Um, is it this weekend? Team of the season live. Havertz. Havertz! There's no way. Bear with me. Changing accounts right now. Kai Havertz fits this Evo. I need to see this firsthand. Give me two seconds, guys. This could be the biggest Evo yet. Because this Kai Havertz, a lot of people love this card. Of course, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I'm going to be buzzing. We've also got Petit, John Arisa, Kamavinga. This fire versus I, this card looks pretty decent, you know, with the boosts. He could be crazy. He can't play as a CDM, which is kind of disappointing. Zambrotta in here, Ashley Cole. Another Zambrotta evolution, by the way. Alaba, Zinchenko. Okay, there's not too many, like... Absolutely mind-blowing option. Simicast Kivior is nice. However, all I really care about right now, and I'm pretty certain a lot of you guys only care about this. Where are we? Fullback swap. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Kai Havertz. Hold up. Um, yes, please. Four star, five star. Yo, this is it, you know. Jockey, whip pass, anticipate gets added. We got technical. This just basically boosts him into seriously usable again. His work rates aren't great, but this 87 was, like, unbelievable for such a long time. Basically until, like, last month or so, he's kind of been dropping out of a lot of people's teams. But this just pushes him back into that kind of, you know, seriously, seriously usable category. My account's kitted out here, by the way. Basher, team of the week. 94 pace, looking pretty decent. Of course, we've got the Simicass Evo. Not a bad one for Liverpool fans, but looking at this page especially... Thunderstruck Tierney. Let's have a little look real fast. Doesn't look too bad, to be fair, but only one playstyle plus. It simply has to be Kai, doesn't it? It really does. Now, 100k or 500 FC points, that is the real question. Is it worth it? I feel like yes. Yes. 100k on the market? Easily. I will be paying that. I will be paying that because I will be doing this evolution. You already know it now. Hopefully, review later today. It doesn't look too difficult to get done and it can all be squad battles so I can just relax and grind that out today. If you want to see it, let me know down below. But let's not get carried away with Kai Havertz real quick and let's go and take a deeper dive at some of these ones. Can I see completed evolutions? This is what we wanted. Uh, no, no. This Is this the one? No, no results. Okay, I'll look at this for now then. Um, so, on a battle, team of the week. I don't think the boost is going to be anything insane. We're looking at players realistically with high pace. We want to have some serious pace on these cards. A lot of these golds, probably not really going to be worth it. I think if you're looking at this page in particular, your Havertz is obviously number one, in my opinion. Basher looks really solid and not too different to, I think it's a, is it a Future Stars? Or is it the ultimate birthday? She had, I think it might, I don't know. It was one of the cards she had. Low 90 rated, which is fantastic. Camavinga will be phenomenal. Really, really nice. I want to see the fully evolved version. Uh, Tierney, a nice, decent child. We checked him out a minute ago. Gavardiol, because he could play as a center back. Could be huge. It's a plus five to the pace as well. So you're going up to 88 pace for the boy. That is big. And he looks decent. 
Look at the Zinchenko as well. I've got the actual uh, the Evo recommendation here. Looks pretty pretty dim, uh, pretty damn insane. Quick step jockey, 92 passing, 91 dribbling, 84 physical, 89 defending, 93 pace. That looks like a really solid card. However, he's not the tallest, is he? He's lacking a little bit in the height department. Kivior is a phenomenal looking card. Same as same with Nets. I think I've actually got him eligible on here. Let's have a little look. The boost here, because the man's already got 89 pace. On paper, he's got the highest defending we've seen being 90 there. I think Kivior would be the same. Uh, whilst I'm showcasing this card, I'm going to take a quick look at Foot.gg, see if we've got the evolved players as of yet. If not, it's all good, but I'm pretty certain we have got it refreshed. Okay, we do. Uh, but this man doesn't look bad. Relentless Plus, you do got the 5-star weak foot, which is nice. And in all honesty, this card wasn't actually too bad when it came out. Um, obviously, Bundesliga fans could be a shout for yourselves. But let's take a little look then at the best options here on Foot.gg. Shout out Foot.gg and Footwiz, by the way, bro. Like these, these are the websites I use for these Evo videos. They're so reliable, so fast, and I absolutely love it. Gavardio. Yes. Now, Jockey. And, okay, so this is... Ooh, I forgot about Unleashing Potential, you know. Hold up. Havertz. Okay, so you can't do it with Havertz, can you? You can't. That's unfortunate, but still Havertz looks sick anyway. Gavardio, 89 pace, 91 defending, 92 physical. Looks absolutely bonkers. 91 acceleration. Wow. Anticipate pink pass. Okay, Gavardio could be one of the best looking like center back options here. Oh, this is Kamavinga's card. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, no illusion potential in there. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And he's he feels good in game, by the way. If there's a way that you can start him left back and move in CDM, you could have a crazy card here. Jockey. Aerial's a bit kind of wasted, but it's not bad. He's got decent jumping. But look at the play styles. That's the main thing. The play styles are absolutely ridiculous on this card. Like, he looks phenomenal. Uh, the rest on this page. Basher we looked at. I think this might just be a gold version, actually. This is a team of the week. It looks really good. It honestly does. Well, Pastor probably going to be in a void because she's got the um, the uh, the UCL version, which is uh, you know, pretty similar and a lot. To, well, not barely even 100k is it? It might even be less than that. Hold up, Jakob, unleash your potential. 90 pace, 91 defending, 92 physical. Oh my days, Kivior looks mad. Could play as a CDM as well. Let's not forget, could play as a CDM. Like I probably would still say. You know, on paper, there's not many differences here. I think Kivio might feel better. The agility and the, the dribbling could be really underrated here. 98 reactions as well. That is ridiculous. Kivio for me, you've got to use Unleashed Potential in both of them, I believe. But they look phenomenal as out and out centre backs for this evolution. Like some of the best. Oh, what is this? Jacob Greaves. Team of the week into Unleashed Potential into fullback swap. There's, oh yeah, there's going to be someone out here who's going to absolutely love this card. I probably would still go for Kivio or um, Gavardio. I've not used Grease. I don't know how he feels in game, but stat-wise looks phenomenal. Uh, any other absolute mad stats here? We've got Mitchell stat. Looks pretty crazy. Chuffer. There's a lot of decent-looking fullbacks here. Card shall we? I believe it's just a, like a gold card. Are we unleashing potential into this? We aren't. We're just fullback swapping. Not a bad card considering, but 100k, a little bit on the steep side. Ranieri popping up again. Gaia, Machado. There's so many fullbacks that have such similar kind of builds. Daily with a 99 shooting, definitely a chain for sure. Shao and Arike looks pretty solid to be fair. Physical defending a little bit low at this stage of the game though. Um, Olga, for, this has to be a mad chain. I don't know who this is. Yeah, crazy chain. So probably going to be avoiding that one. But for me, hands down, Havertz, number one. Gavardio looks phenomenal. Kivior looks phenomenal considering you need the illusion potential still. That's something to note here. Even without, he's still going to look brilliant. Kamavinga, a fantastic option. Same with a lot of the guys we saw on console. Nets, for example, Basher. But Havertz has to be the guy. Let me know if you want to see a review later today. Let me know who you're doing. I'll be Morsi. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you later.